in high octane metal metal moose you've been weighed you've been measured you've been found wanting metal moose for the latest in high octane metal metal moose visit them on facebook at metal moose radio for weekly podcasts and more up-to-date information and events metal lock metal moose it's the uh, Metal Moose Show with uh, Moose and Squirrel and our brand new producer, uh, Tuna. So there's three of us in the studio uh, now. So Tuna is handling all of the audio. So if there's any audio mess-ups, make sure and blame him. We'll get you a uh, Yes, finally, Metal there's Moose. a third party that can be blamed instead of me all the time. Oh, uh, well, I'm going to blame you still. No, 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 um, no, no, no. It's Tuna's fault. We're going to get him a Metal Moose. It'll be a Tuna at MetalMooseRadio.com email, so you can email him. Um 
Real quick, I just wanted to let everyone know we're sorry. We were going to start at 5.30, but somebody in the room, <gasps> not it, on no. this side, He's in the middle. It's had, to finish, it's his. had to finish their nails and buff their issue, nails. I had an issue with my fingernails, and I had to <laughs> take care of it so it wouldn't distract me from Did the somebody show. just knock at the door? No. We have a visitor. Okay. Uh, you want to get the visitor? Go ahead. What? Why not? So sure. what we did yeah, is um, we had to wait for some nails to get done because I know nails are important nails are when you're doing important. a podcast. Thank you very much. Those of you that are watching us on the uh, Facebook Live, make sure and go to www.themetalmoose.com. Um, you can find our show there. You can find our YouTube channel, all that kind of stuff. What the hell are you doing? Oh, that's There's not going to no work. There. That's not going to work. Anyway, so this is the Metal Boost Radio Show. If you're new to the show, uh, we do this every week, and we do it out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and we play unsigned and indie, hard rock, rock and roll, southern rock, glam stuff on the radio. And then I make fun of Squirrel a whole bunch, and people like that. I don't. And then we do this at the OKC Music Box, which we'd love for you to come down and sit in the studio with us. For information on that and how you do that, it's a really simple deal. What you do is you come in. We do five people at a time. It's $20. You get to come in for the show. You get a T-shirt. You get an autographed bag of Cheetos. And you get to take a picture with with Squirrel and I. And if, Tuna, if you want. if you <laughs> Tuna might want to charge extra. He's he's expensive. Right. So it's the Metal Moose Radio Show. Break up with a bag of Cheetos, and we'll tell you why here in just a few minutes. But it's the Metal Moose. It's Cheetos and Nutella and bacon and metal. And is there anything you'd like to say? I would, Nope, but I didn't fix my nail all the way. It's driving you me crazy. are radio magic. I know, but it's bugging me. I told you I needed to fix it, and now it's driving me crazy. Oh, uh, now the that whole way. world knows you have a nail. Hey, messed a up. female and her broken nail. It's issues. Okay. There's issues. I'm all right, just thank you for that. Thanks. Uh, hang out, guys. More metal coming your way. Buckle up, Buttercup. This is Sean from Extra Special Time Travelers, and you're listening to the Metal Moose. <laughs>
once. Honey, you got real ugly. Bit of axe 
to the face, which always calms me, soothes my soul when I hear Axe to the face. I, I guess one of your, um, first of all, real quick, hello, Summer, uh, Raquel, no, 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 and no, no, Ryan. No, 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 no. Hey, I can do it, too. Uh, no, no, no. You just got on to me and said it was It's because you were holding us up from recording. Not acceptable. No. Okay, we so hadn't even started the show. You and had now some, you're going to you do s- that? You had somebody on your side who said um, they wanted to talk metal. Give us questions and we'll answer them. Because right, yeah, give us questions about metal. And we'll part of the, sure. part of the Metal Moose show is that it's every metal show you listen to. That's what they do. They talk about metal stuff. I don't want to talk about metal. I want to talk about Cheetos. I want to talk about Nutella. I want to talk about wrapping bacon around appendages. And hold on, hold on. Hi Adobe. Hi Track Three. I just wanted to do it too. What? Tuna speaks. Tuna speaks. We have our producer to here yelling some foreign engineering he's stuff. Speaking and I don't to Adobe to. Audition for some reason. So, anyway, so if they have some metal questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them. But we're not just going to talk about metal. So, you mentioned you wanted to talk about the uh, gorilla, right? With the so uh, at Cincinnati Zoo, right? Cincinnati, uh, four-year-old boy <clears throat> falls into the gorilla pit. Are you listening to me, or are you just writing down men's no, phone I'm, numbers? I'm this is important. I'll tell you why in a minute. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, baby falls into the gorilla pit. The gorilla um, drags it around in the water for like 10 minutes. Right. Apparently. Have you seen <clears throat> just the quote unquote news version or have you seen the full video? No, I've just, I've just seen the news version. Okay. That is like <clears throat> a very short clip. Mm-hmm. The gorilla is, so the silverback is dragging him back and forth in the water, like by his leg. <clears throat> right. I saw and, that. And yeah, but he like does it repeatedly. Do you, do you think it was protective i don't really know the species so i don't know from what i see um i would say at first it was curious i think they probably should have <coughs> tried to maybe sedate it like shoot it no, a couple no, times no because they said that if, it would have had a it would have had a violent reaction by getting shot oh it I, had a violent I didn't i didn't read that in the articles or any of the videos I so okay so i i mean i feel bad for him but did they have to kill him, or could they have just wounded him? I mean, well, I don't so know. but here's what I here's what I saw. Like initially, the gorilla was on top of the boy in a very protective manner, right in the corner. And then I'm wondering if the gorilla thought that it was dead, and therefore was dragging it. Well, um, it could be. Well, I don't think he think it was dead because he stood him up and he was kind of like looking at him, like, "What is this?" But I think the screaming from the people as well as the child kind of threw him off and he didn't know what it was well I'm and that just, may I, have scared him like i don't know what this is let's try to shut him up and drag him i don't is, i don't know what he was thinking but i mean i feel bad that he times. died seriously I've, i feel bad that he died but if a child's life is in danger yeah i i think the child I, i'm just gonna say so. that i've had dates that ended like that and they were enjoyable <laughs> <laughs> i'm just you saying. dragging him through the water well and i didn't drown say him? who was that? dragging wow. who i'm just saying it. oh okay <clears throat> no, honestly, I don't, I don't, I don't know why there, why there was a, tuna. Shut up. Um, I don't know why there's a way for anybody to get into the grill pit. Like, if I were the parents, I first of all, the parents suck. You can't let your kid go in okay, a zoo. But as a parent, I mean, yeah, you. <clears throat> that does suck because. Here's an idea. Let's I have, make it. I've had kids that were young. You have young kids. Yeah, you turn your back for two seconds, and they're doing something, and you're like, stop it, stop it. However, this is 2016. Why in the world is that zoo not better secured? I mean, well, no, it's not even a, about security. A three-bar fence and a, and a why bush you, is supposed to keep something from why getting Why would in you there? have any sort of entrance for anybody but somebody that works there? That's a stupid There wasn't light. an entrance. It was a, a some weird fence what, that right. like a crawl under and a bush. That's stupid. They should be sued. That's what I'm saying. And then the parents ought to get sued for neglect. It, it should so be on both sides. So the parents going to sue the zoo and the zoo is going to sue the parents? Yes. I think they should both be held accountable for something. But, I mean, like I said, I've had small children and you turn their back and they're gone and you're like, hey, get back here. However. <laughs> somebody, somebody said the kid was a ninja. I think that the, the owner of the zoo and the parents <laughs> should have to be on a season of um, what's a little fat girl with the wears all the makeup. What's her name? You know who I'm talking about? Yeah. Honey yeah. Boo Boo. Yeah, Honey Boo Boo. Yeah, there you go. She wears makeup. That's your. I thought she was like six and a total spoiled. That's your brat. punishment. You have to be on uh, Honey, Honey Boo Boo. Do they even make that show anymore? I don't. Hell, I don't know.
Nothing says you're more serious about your playing than your tone. Are you serious about your playing? Then get serious about your tone. Nico's USA Pickup. Handcrafted in America, each pickup is made to deliver professional tone. Whether you play rock, metal, or shred the blues, we have a pickup for you. Nico's USA Pickups. Experience tone. Visit Nico'sUSAPickups.com for tone. It's the uh, Metal Moose Show. It sounds like somebody wants to get loose with the squirrel because the squirrel just got a message that said, uh, somebody said they wanted to eat her ass metal style. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I'm not really sure either. I, but I, I'm not sure what that is, and I really don't want to talk about that anymore. You don't want to talk about it anymore? No. 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 So you're sa- you're That's telling the person, only. no, That's an exit, only. exit only. Sorry, buddy. No yeah. metal 
Yeah, no. Ass. It, what, I don't. What, even, I mean, how could you? What I don't. You want to? I mean, to talk seriously, to them? I don't get that. I don't what, get that. Oh, okay. Do they have? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tuna wants to know if they have braces. <laughs> <laughs> that could be metal style. That could so. be metal style. I don't know. That's I, a good question. I don't know. I'm almost. I'm almost afraid to ask. No, we're just. You never know what you're going to get when you're doing Facebook Live, what kind of comments you're going to get. Well, that's why we do this. Uh, Somebody's put that maybe it's a speedy rim job. So, Uh, I don't know. I don't know. (laughs) Wow. I'm just going to move on from that. Thanks. We're going to hell. No, he is. Oh, okay. I didn't bring up the metal... (laughs) <laughs> I'm, I'm good. I'm so, good. I don't know. Anyways, guys, uh, once again, thanks for being with us on the Facebook food. We do this. Uh, I do it every week on the uh, Moose Crew page on Facebook, which if you're not a member of the Moose Crew, make sure and just look up Moose Crew. It's spelled C-R-U-E like Motley Crew. Moose Crew on Facebook. Uh, here in a minute, we're going to get into the recent poll about uh, Moose Fest 6, which is going to be called Moose Fest Open Air because it's going to be outdoors and we're going to have food trucks and beer and vendors and probably nudity and stuff like that as well. Are you, are you getting nude? Are you going to be the I nude? Would, I, nobody wants to see me nude. They want to see your rack. You're always talking about showing your rack. Rock out, uh, I rack doubt that they want to see my rack. So, um, so Is that we even got, legal? Can we get t- away with that? Me showing my boobs? No, like you said, nudity. Like, are people? This isn't Woodstock. I th- I th- We're not th- in the th- middle of nowhere. We're like right here. I think that somebody has to complain for it to be, you know, illegal. Oh, so okay. maybe if it's a, what's the word? Maybe if it's a bigger type person, there might be a complaint. <laughs> but I saw some people walking around naked at Shock Fest or uh, Oz Fest. That was. Woo. Anyway, so we're going to talk about Moose Fest Open Air. We're going to talk about the poll that's going on right now because for the very first time ever, we're letting the Moose crew and the Moose listeners pick the bands that are going to be playing. Yeah, and we had a really good The response really has been response insane. Yeah. So we're going to talk about that a little bit, and we will also be giving away Moose Fest tickets during the next um, part where we talk if you're done with your nails and your fan club. I'm not okay, we got to wrap it up. We're getting the yeah. wrap-up signal from Tuna. No? No. We have one minute. Okay, thank you. One minute. Uh, so this is definitely growing pains right here. It is. It's but it's it makes it's not for as good as radio a TV show, fun. But it's it's radio. It fun. makes for radio fun. Did wow. you ever watch that show? What growing pains? Yes, Kirk Cameron. He's now like a Christian end really? of the world movie maker guy. Oh. How long do we got? You're coming on to forty seconds. Okay, we got about forty seconds left. So forty seconds. Tuna. I need time. How did you get your name? Do you even know what your name means? I know it has acronyms. Are you going to save that for the next segment? I don't know. You have it written down. I don't think. Oh, movies. Oh. Awesome. So www.themetalmoose.com. You need to go there, order shirts, listen to the show. I think we're about to get cut off. Okay, we've got 20 seconds. So please go to the website and listen to the show. It's very important to us. Uh, we'll talk about advertising and, and open air and all that stuff on the next segment. Until then... Rub your bodies down in Cheeto dust, baby, because it's fun.
Okay, so check this out. Um, the guys at Tornado Tattoo are, are watching on Facebook right now, and Clayton, one of the tattoo artists up there, said if somebody comes into Tornado Tattoo today and says that they were watching this on Facebook, he's going to give them an awesome tattoo deal. I don't know. It just says one hell of a deal. So you're looking at a really cheap, good tattoo from an awesome artist, Tornado Tattoo. Look him up on your phone, Oklahoma City. Get your ass up there and get a tattoo, man. They do yeah. all they do all of my tattoos, and I don't have bad tattoos. So make sure and get there. Uh, hey, Sean, what's going on? So we were going to talk about... I want to give away two tickets to Moose Fest, and this is uh, Moose Fest number five, which is July 23rd. Um, for more info, you can go to uh, themetalmoose.com, but we've got Oberon, Machine in the Mountain, um, uh, Scars of Amber, and Dream at Midnight. There's somebody else, and I don't have the list in front of me. Oh, Who, who'd seriously? I miss? Uh, yeah. Monkey Gun, yeah, Monkey Gun. Mountain, Oberon, Scars right. of Amber, and Dream at Midnight. So you're welcome, Josh, uh, F and Josh. Um, so I hope somebody comes in and gets a tattoo. So we've got this awesome show Can coming I up. Can I leave and go get a tattoo? The 23rd, no. Uh, the 23rd, uh, Moose Fest number five. It's going to be our fifth one. We want to give away two tickets tonight. And so what we want is the most creative photo of a rack. Creative photo of a rack. Right, because one of our logos is rock out with your rack, rock out. Rock out with your rack out, right. But so do you want a moose rack? Do you want it could female be any rack? Do you want... Mail rack? Do Any you want kind of rack. Squirrel it's rack? Do squirrels have racks? Uh, you had a picture of one one time. <gasps> oh, that's right. Yeah, it was so. a squirrel in a bikini. Okay. So, I mean, it can be any kind of rack, but the most creative rack picture. And send the uh, your picture to moose at themetalmoose.com, or you can just send it to us on Facebook. Either way, um, that's what we want. And if you, the winner will get two, fig- two tickets to Moose Fest. So, uh, it's non discriminatory. That is correct. So, no, um, you know, it could be guy boobs, whatever, guys racks. So, um, anyway, yeah, Moose Fest and then, and then open air as well. So, here's the deal if you go to the Moose Crew page, you can vote for your favorite band to play Moose Fest. We're going to pick the top 10 bands to play. It's going to be outdoors, it's going to be a blast, there's going to be booze, there's going to be all kinds of stuff. And then, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to tell you right now that you can also vote on the Moose Line, which is. Our moose line is 424-666-7356. Right. So you can call that. You can text that. Uh, you can do. You can just let us know who you want to play. And here's the other deal. If you buy a moose t-shirt at themetalmoose.com, whatever band you're voting for is going to get 20 extra votes. So you go to the go to the 20 website. extra votes huh? yeah 20 votes you get a moose shirt and your band's going to get 20 extra votes i really enjoyed seeing like the bands go on there and like type in a lot of their fan names yeah so that they would see the, the this thing's group. been nuts man we we gained they really like play. two thousand members over this so we're gonna it's gonna be a good time moose fest is always a blast so we're gonna do it really different this time and somebody's gonna end up in jail i guarantee you that so. uh, i don't me. know man you do no, enough I shots have a bodyguard and, and you already have me doing shots with about <laughs> 15 different people. Then you pro- you proclaim that there's going to be a kissing booth for me, and I'm still there not is. sold on that. There is. She's going to kiss somebody. I so hope it's I, like... I have not got... Who's, who's out of all these shows, I have not got one email saying that there would be anyone that would pay okay. $5 for a chance to kiss me. Okay, hold on just a second. I think she needs to kiss uh, Fuzzy Boot Dancing Lady. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the Metal Moose Radio Show. We'll be back in just a bit with more metal than Grandma's Kettle. I love you. Uh huh. Right. Yo, this is Tyson from the Apex, and you're listening to the Moose. Hey, it's Eddie. I'm from Glass Delirium, and I'm a chick who rocks on the Metal Moose. If you ain't covered in Cheeto dust, then you just ain't listening right. This is Don Rizzi from Throttle God, Rock Springs, Wyoming Metal, and you are listening to the Moose. This is Brad from Coma Trip, and you are listening to The Metal Moose. You are listening to The Metal Moose.
Rocks, Florida. Nothing says you're more serious about your playing than your tone. Are you serious about your playing? Then get serious about your tone. Nico's USA Pickups. Handcrafted in America, each pickup is made to deliver professional tone. Whether you play rock, metal, or shred the blues, we have a pickup for you. Nico's USA Pickups. Experience tone. Visit Nico'sUSAPickups.com for tone. It's the Moose, uh, the Metal Moose Radio Show, Moose Squirrel and Tuna with you here from the OKC Music Box. It's why the way if you're in a band and you need somewhere to come rehearse, this is the place to do it. You get a room, you get a PA to practice with. It's a three-hour minimum and it's $20 an hour. But if you say the Moose sent you, you get a fourth hour for free. That's awesome. You don't have to have your parents bitching at you or your little sister staring at your bandmates and messing them up and all that stuff so come up to the okc music box and get you a room we're here that's where we do our show every week at the moosehead studio um i had something to talk about and you did uh, you give him the phone number uh d- the f- no go ahead and give him the phone number yeah you would need to call dave ward if you want to come up here dave dave mm-hmm. what's his number his number is 405-232-2099 extension 104 and you once again we are in 535 North Ann Arbor in Oklahoma City. That is correct, and we'd love to have you come up and, and be in the studio with this. It's really cool. It's a lot of fun. Of course, right now it's hotter than death. It's the second week in a row we haven't had any air conditioning, so it's really, really hot in here. Yeah. Well, there's a slight movement of air, which was better than last time. We had no movement. Oh, it was dead. Well, we also had two bands in here, and it was we hot. Had, yeah, we had two bands, no AC. Now we have right. a little bit of AC. And apparently we are so lucky and blessed to have one of the two rooms that it's not functioning Right, in. exactly. The 25 rooms in here, <laughs> <laughs> one of ours is the one that went down. So. Well, there's more than that. But, yeah, so the rest of the building is nice and nice chill. Nice and cool and, and hotter here, than hell in here. Yeah. Right, it's, it's, it's not even tepid. It's definitely heat wave. So we were talking earlier uh, pr- prior to the show, um, Amber Perrin, who is a... a Moose Maniac yes. is going to start working on some advertising stuff for us. 
And, and uh, also, is that? Uh, oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Thank um, you. Thank you. I try. <laughs> also, oh, you weren't talking about me. No, no, no. Damn. Okay. You are beautiful, but thank you. Um, thank you. The guy that used to run Spitfire Records. Anybody that's been around the rock scene long enough remember Spitfire Records. Anyway, um, he ran it for multiple, multiple years. Anyway, uh, we've been in contact, and he is very interested in the uh, Metal Moose Show and what we do. So there might be some cool stuff on the way with that so advertising and people helping for everybody that's watching the show right now that does not know um, this is not just us people in this room since day one this has been a lot of people the moose crew is a big family and we all promote and help each other and do shows and it's a big family oh we got to talk about the whole hardcore controversy too so do we still have plenty of time two minutes okay so um, I went to, you don't understand this, but you understand this. So okay, so just ignore me and talk to Tuna. I'm good. I'm not ignoring you, but there's this whole separation between hardcore kids and punk kids and metal kids. Like, they're all too cool to like each other. Like, what? they only like, yeah, it's a good question. Okay, one minute. Okay, so anyway, I went on Facebook and I said, you guys need to stop with this stuff and let's all just be cool to each other and listen to each other's music and let's right. be cool. And they just bashed the hell out of me. I was a jerk, and I was fat, and I was stupid. And, what? And uh, yada, yada, yada. So it just blew my mind. It, I was trying to be, you know, supportive and helpful and connecting, and I just got trashed. That's not very nice. So it's the same thing I tried to do with the cheerleaders in high school, and the same thing happened. I just wanted to connect and you, support. You just want to connect and support them? Right. You want to be like the ones holding them up? All right. I was a cheerleader. Oh, that's... Uh, but I didn't, didn't know have that. Any, that's awesome. I was a that? football player, so... Oh, there you go. There you go. It's as simple as there that. There you so. go. It's the Metal Boost Radio Show. You are rocking on uh, one of 50 radio stations across the world. Rock us on themetalmoose.net. I'm sorry. Calm. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You didn't even know your own. <laughs> the Moose Rocks New York.
bitches and me Follow that path Set my own up here So every now and then I get a bit, so we get a lot of music. I mean, all the time. Music's coming in. The email is crazy full of music. And every now and then I see a band. I don't even listen to it. I just see the name, and I'm like, I have to play that. Did you listen to the song before No, you played it? absolutely not. No, I did not. But the name of the band is uh, the Potato Hate Explosion, and I have to play. Potato so Hate Explosion. They, and the name of the song is? Overheated. Overheated. Right. They just go hand in hand. And then the next the, the next one was the Rum Smugglers, right? Which is a pirate metal band, but they're from like Zimbabwe or something like that. Which Rum makes Smugglers? They have pirates in Zimbabwe. Yeah, so anyway. They do so. have pirates in Zimbabwe? Some makes. Oh, anyway. So there's the whole a movie. That doesn't mean they're real. They are real. Seriously? There's like real pirates? Yeah, it's not Pirates like, are real. Not like you're Pirates real. are real, yes. It's like they don't wear a patch and a no, peg these leg are, and no, these Johnny Depp. Pirates these days have M16s and they take your ship over and kill people. Yeah. Anyway, just thought it was, just thought it was odd that there was a pirate metal band from wherever, Nicaragua or whatever. So Okay. I don't know. I don't Anyway, but the Potato Hate Explosion, that's a good deal. So By the way, all the hardcore and scene kids, uh, I love you, man. You should, you're you're welcome here at the Moose and I know you all hate me and all that stuff but i didn't want to is there anything else you want to talk about other than zach's obsession with you no because they're all ganging up on on this oh poor zach's getting his ass kicked on social media i don't even want to say his name don't even say his name okay. so yeah they're pretty much sticking up for me the squirrel on my facebook live right you, now you have a so lot of fans. Who else wants to go in and save me and just blast him that's fine just blast him because obviously he hasn't read my post where i hate it when people are stupid like that he, right I mean, you, do. you do i really you do. do there's no there's no place for it it drives me crazy so apparently he hasn't read my facebook page and he's on here just saying all kinds of stuff so yeah if anyone wants to save me and be on my side feel free jump in 
Oh yeah, to stand up for you've got so many like fans. I have a few. Followers. Your your Facebook page is Squirrel, the co-host, the Metal Moose Radio Show. If that people want to find you, you're also on Instagram, right? Uh, which is what Squirrel co-host. Uh huh. You're on Twitter, mm-hmm. which is Squirrel co-host. co-host. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also There's kind on of a common theme right here, right? <clears throat> what do we got? Thirty so seconds. I think about five thousand friends, but you can still follow me. But so you'll find me. Find the Metal Moose Radio Show on iTunes, on Spreaker, on Mixcloud, on the Headbigging Moose, on uh, what a what a uh, TuneIn app, and all over the place. Pinterest, believe it or not, Instagram, all of that. We're there. Just Google it, Metal Moose Radio Show. It's all over the place. Do you have like lace around your picture on Pinterest? Uh, this is Cami from Van Halt, and you are listening to the Moose. Hey, Metal Moose. It's the other Metal Moose, Matty J from Psycho Stick. Just calling to say... Hey, this is DJ from Rebel 9, and you're listening to the Metal Moose. This is Chris from Alasia calling you from Cleveland, Ohio. You are listening to Metal Moose Radio, Chicks That Rock program, and the Metal Moose is on the loop. Crank it up, man. It's metal. You are listening to the Metal Moose.
listening to the Metal Moose. Nothing says you're more serious about your playing than your tone. Are you serious about your playing? Then get serious about your tone. Nico's USA Pickup. Handcrafted in America, each pickup is made to deliver professional tone. Whether you play rock, metal, or shred the blues, we have a pickup for you. Nico's USA Pickup. Experience tone. Visit Nico'sUSAPickups.com for tone. Hey, speaking of our friends over at Nico's, make sure and visit uh, Nico'sUSA.com.
com. Aww. And uh, <laughs> and if you order some pickups from those guys just by typing in the coupon code Moose, you'll get ten percent off of your order. Nico's is an awesome company, USA handmade custom pickups. Uh, we have some. We're going to have um, Dave put some in my guitar. We're going to film it, and we're going to make a whole uh, Nico's videography kind of thing. So, you're going to be in a commercial. I don't know that how much I'm going to be in it because I'm going to film him putting it in and in the guitar and talking about how easy it is. And oh, so you're going to be the videographer? Cool. Kind of, yes, maybe. I don't know what the hell. I'm just something. It's Nico's video. Do you want me to be video. a videographer? Maybe if you want to be. I've shot a couple of commercials. Wouldn't it? Uh, What's his name, Zach? He wanted to make a video with you? No. Would you quit saying his name? So we had to. I'm that sorry. A, the troll. We don't need the troll we, here. Just we had to uh, do this monologue uh. over because Lisa's mic came unplugged and it was oh, messing and everything up. So. Okay. No, 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 no. No. Tuna over here, our new producer, and Moose over there are having technical difficulties. I'm just fine. I had nail issues, but my nail issues are fine. <laughs> Tuna, Tuna has something to say. Everybody was just blaming Tuna. It was Moose's fault the whole time. Wait a second. Hey, you're new to the studio. You get the blame this week. That's hey, all I'm, I'm saying. I'm I am so you. happy not to take the blame on anything this week. It's you. I'm trying to help you by helping me. I, I right? Never, no, I, no, 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 no. I don't mess you're up. You're in the hot seat just as much as I am because Moose is over there the and we're both seat. targets. The hot seat's <laughs> over there. No, 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 no. He's, he's got a point. Yeah. That is the hot seat over there. Okay, I'm just saying. So we in the next few weeks, we have Archon coming in for an interview we also have beauty and the suffering coming in and we also have two minutes so uh, we got some more interviews coming up those have been really big man uh the a dying art and sign of lies interviews and outside the shadows and it's been a big deal people are really picking up on them and one of these days we'll make like a whole interview compilation kind of a deal thing oh, definitely. and we'll do and that so those bands may be playing at moose fest 6. could be could be um i was gonna say that those are only available on Mixcloud. You're not going to find them anywhere else but Mixcloud. Right. So, the live interviews are on right. Mixcloud. Right. We do, we do post them on Facebook, but they are on Mixcloud, so you have to go there to listen to them. So if you're into the interview thing, which we have, I have consistently not done interviews on purpose for years, but um, I did it because now we have the studio and I can have people in here, and uh, it's much better and cooler for interview type stuff. What's my time limit? Okay. We need to get a... Like a, co- a countdown clock for you? Because you keep looking, and I'm not even worried. And you're the one over there. Do you need some, like... Mm. I'll, I'll take it. Did you just burp? <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not worried. I just so we have a show to So you got farts coming out of, the, out of the basement and burps coming out of the attic. Oh, my gosh. How do we get interviewed? Matt Cluley. Matt, you need to... Come uh, on a day when he is not eating beans... Or drinking something with carbonation. Matt, are bed. you in Oklahoma City? Are you close to the Oklahoma City area? Just email me at moose at themetalmoose.com, or you can uh, just go to um, the Moose Crew page and get a hold of me there. We'll talk about interviews. So phone interviews, I'm not a big fan of the whole phone thing, uh, but speaking of, that's something we need to do next. Anyway, this is the Metal Moose Radio Show, and uh, more metal coming up right now, and tuna smells like tuna. Join the Moose Crew.
trying to make a phone call this is uh, this is how this is what you did me that one night when there was um the tornado and i couldn't come on right who are we calling yeah that was a long time ago hang on we'll see if they answer if not hi i'm looking for uh one of the band members okay yeah this is a metal moose radio okay hold on just a minute sure no problem He's the head one. Okay. The okay. The the head okay, one. Okay, hold on. Just a second, please. Okay. The head oh, one. She's so nice. She is. She's nice. Who she and calling? she knows who the head one is. The head one. Chris. Hey Chris, what's going on, man? This is Moose from the Metal Moose Radio Show. Hey, how you doing, Moose? Man, I'm calling to apologize. So we we had an interview set up with you guys. Um, my good friend Will over at the OKC Edge set this interview up for you. And last week, we uh, the air conditioning went out in our studio. I had a crazy bad headache. Uh, and because I had forgotten about you, I had booked a couple other bands to interview. So I'm calling, oh, okay. so I'm calling to apologize for my unprofessionalism. And the truth of the matter is, if anybody happens to ask you about it, just say it was Squirrel's fault. <gasps> it was not. <laughs> Chris, and please save me. Fault, man. It's just, you know. 
is what it is. Well, and I also want to tell you happy birthday, and it was your birthday last week. Happy birthday, dude. Um, so real quick, I want you to tell everybody about uh, the name of your band, where they can find your music, and all that good stuff. Well, sure, absolutely. Uh, the name of the band is Bad Monkey with a Gun, and uh, the only way I can explain how I came up with that name is uh, my my old bass player a long time ago told me that, uh, man, with this uh, presidential election we got going on, it doesn't really matter who we're electing. We just got to choose the lesser of the evils, and it's still going to be like giving a bad monkey a gun. Nice. And, uh, so that, that kind of stuck with me a little bit. And uh, when when we formed the band uh, in, uh, in the penitentiary, I don't, I don't know if you read the other article, but uh, we formed in the U.S. penitentiary, U.S.P. in Beaumont. And uh, I kind of loved the name. Everybody loved the name, so we kind of stuck with it because it you know, has, a, has multiple meanings. <laughs> nice. Very nice. That's uh, compelling stuff right there. So where can we find Bad Monkey with a Gun's music? On SoundCloud uh, was the first place where we actually put anything out on the Internet for people to listen to. Okay, very and, cool. Uh, so they can go to SoundCloud and look up uh, Bad Monkey with a Gun? No, sir. I screwed up when I first tried to put it on SoundCloud, and it wouldn't let me use Bad Monkey with a Gun anymore. So I had to put Monkey Bad Wag in all lowercase letters. Okay, okay, and, uh, well. That's how you can find it on SoundCloud. It has okay. a few of our selections on there, a couple of cover tunes from Zach Wilde and Collective Soul. Okay. Did. And, uh, but uh, the uh, other stuff, the original music that we have is on www.badmonkeywithagun.com. It's our website. Uh, we got that from Reverb Nation. They hooked us up with that. And Facebook also has a Bad Monkey with the Gun uh, Facebook page. Okay, very cool, man. Thanks so much. Once again, we're sorry about uh, sorry about not catching you, but we, you got to, you're going to be on all over the place now. So, Bad Monkey with a Gun, go make sure and check them out. And just remember um, that Chris is the head one. So, hey, man, <laughs> thanks so much, dude. We'll talk to you soon and uh, rock out with your rack out. It's the Metal Moose.
It's a carousel Round and round we go You can lose control Forget all that you know It's a rabbit hole Down and down we go Down and down we go Nothing says you're more serious about your playing than your tone. Are you serious about your playing? Then get serious about your tone. Nico's USA Pickup. Handcrafted in America, each pickup is made to deliver professional tone. Whether you play rock, metal, or shred the blues, we have a pickup for you. Nico's USA Pickup. Experience tone. Visit Nico'sUSAPickups.com for tone. Forwarded to an what? automatic voice message system. Okay, that's fine. I knew fine. you were calling. Are you going to give the number out? Seriously? Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. Oh, maybe I shouldn't Finish do that. I'm thinking up. maybe you shouldn't <laughs> have done that. Maybe they know. didn't want their phone number out. We'll see what happens. Maybe she'll okay, see Okay, it beeped. Me. Talk. Did it talk? Hey, uh, <laughs> my good friend Jenny who's supposed to be the MC of the next Moose Fest, and I actually tried to get a hold of you and get you into the studio tonight so you could be on the air with this, but somebody's obviously too busy. I mean, even though we've known each other for, like, 25 years, oh, my God. So here's your message, and that went on the air, so so did your number. Hope you don't get a bunch of crazy phone calls. But <laughs> you better bleep that out. Okay, She's well, so I'm going to leave that up to the to the audio guy. So uh, give us a call back if you happen to get this. I mean, if you're not too busy and stuff being too cool for the moose. Love you. Okay, well, so I was going to try and call her. Next, we'll call Christy's Toy Box. Oh, my gosh. No, no, no. Why? No, I'm Do just you kidding. Do you need a toy? I'm just kidding. So. Do you need a spray? Do you need a toy? Do you need something? I don't need anything. <laughs> Thank you very much. I have all why the are you toy calling I need. Them? Why are you calling them? I don't know. To see what... You can get, I guess. I don't know. They're not going to give me anything. We're still in the oh air. Gosh. I mean, we've got time, right? So, you know, I do I need a little clock here that says this is how many times. A minute. Yeah, I, did you know that when I first started doing this, I put a timer on uh, my iPad, and I would just watch it, that. The Facebook Live. We're not recording, right? Yes, we're recording oh, right yeah. now. This is a radio show. Well, I'm getting confused with a new producer. I'm used to looking at you, and you guys are having this conversation, and I'm the third wheel. This is like my date on Memorial Day. See you, day. Kevin. This is, uh, Kevin said, this is definitely beso- behind the scenes radio. This, that's what this is. This is, I mean, the radio show itself is a whole different deal. But this is where you get to see us talk and goof around and stuff. So it's the Metal Moose Radio Show. And my live video just ended again. Man, it's I, just. I don't want to say you suck on that, but. I don't know what's on going on. On the video on, part. But, but that's, that's it's your It's no end. big deal. So. I have no problems on my Facebook like over here. Here's what we're going to do. On the, nec- on the next one, uh, I want you to do Periscope on yours. Go to your yeah, Periscope and do it. Cool. Yeah. And uh, I'm sorry, sir, I didn't see that. Okay, it is uh, time to move on to the next metal song, which is a lot like a metal rim job. <gasps> no.
Mic check. Okay. Do you remember the Moose Fest song? No. Get up. What was it? If you like chicken and you like the moose. Something, something. Chicken. Moose Fest. <laughs> Moose Fest. Yes. Chicken. Make it like a, make it like a, make it like a, make it like a cookie. What's chicken plus cookie? Chicken cookie. It's the Metal Moose Radio Show. So, real quick, we do this at the end of every show. We make sure and tell you to go to themetalmoose.com and find the show there. Also, we say it, uh, wake up, kick ass, be kind, repeat. It's how... We do things around here, support somebody, give somebody a hug, wink at somebody, you know, stuff like that. Give somebody, that's your, you're really good at that. I am really good. When I, I hug, love hugs. I hug people, they pinch I, me. They pinch you? Punch is what I was going for, punch. Oh, well, I can Sorry. see the punching part. Pinching, I was like, what? <laughs> what's that all about? No, yeah, I love hugs. I, I think it brightens up everybody's day, and it definitely makes me feel better, so... Now, if someone pinched me, I may not enjoy that hug so much. Well, apparently you're not into metal rim jobs. No, I'm not. Thank you. I don't even know what a metal rim job is. Okay? <laughs> I, don't, I don't either. <laughs> I don't either, and it's just... I didn't want to know. If someone knows what that is, I'm good not knowing. I had somebody ask how they can vote on the bands for uh, the Moose open air you have to you go to facebook and find the group moose crew crue and join then you're allowed to vote there for whatever band it is and like i said if you want to help your band even more if you go to the metal moose.com and you buy a t-shirt the band you vote for gets 20 extra votes because you bought a t-shirt yeah so 
Make sure to do that. Thanks to all the radio affiliates, of course, the Headbanging Moose, our friends at Tornado Tattoo, Zion Vape, uh, Nico's USA Guitar Picks, Sinister Guitar Picks, all the people out there that help the show. And you, anything left? No, I'm just enjoying it tonight. We have a new producer, and so I think it's really fun. That's it's right. Everybody uh, everybody, make sure and post on the uh, Moose Crew page uh, how you feel about tuna. Our being. producer, mm-hmm. not the actual food, but our producer, Tuna. Tuna, the producer. So he's. I'm still going to learn what the acronyms are for that T U N A, but we'll discuss that next show. We're hoping he's going to be here with us uh, every week. We don't know. You know, maybe he uh, becomes a rock star or becomes a lawyer or something, and then we don't have him. But we're going to have him here as much as we can. So I don't have to produce the show anymore, and it's better that way because I can just sit here and talk. So. Once again, thanks to everybody for listening. Make sure and go find us on the website. You can find us, just Google Metal Moose Radio. You'll find us all over the place. We're like that fat girl in junior high that likes you. You can't get rid of us. That You look. are such a stalker. I, well, how am I a stalker? Because you're a, chasing some girl and she can't get rid of you? I'm not chasing her. She's chasing me. Oh. Right. Then, okay, she's a stalker. It's all okay, good. Right. It's a, it's so I'm good. talking about the big girl named you know Veronica that's like... I thought it was come? like Helga. Okay, Helga. You know, I whatever. mean, whatever you want to, whatever you want to okay, do. I mean, okay. whatever. Didn't you have some like uh, creepy, ugly dude that, that liked you in high school? Uh, Maybe that only happens to guys. If I did, I didn't know about it, and I'm okay with that. Because there's usually some <laughs> sort of very unattractive girl that likes you, and you're like, uh. So how do you get rid of her? Um, are you nice to her? Or are you not nice to her? I was always nice okay. to them, I but hope I. So. Because you're Didn't, not you're not always the nicest to me, but once again we're like brother sister. Here, I don't. So. I am not mean to you in any way, shape, or form. Whatever. Did you see that when I asked people what they what they liked about the show, they said me belittling you. That was one of their favorite. I parts. know that was so <laughs> wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, they said you were naive. <sighs> All right, guys, it's the Metal Moose Radio Show. We will see you next week, and make sure and find us on the website, the Metal Moose. <laughs> Moose are served by the authors, their labels are authorized representatives that permitted their material to be used. The Metal Moose holds no rights to any music played on the show. Go to TheMetalMoose.com and submit your music to be heard on the show. The Metal Moose accepts donations of money, geos, bacon, and naked pictures. Thank you for tuning in and subscribe on iTunes. Rock out when you rack out and consider yourself moosed. <laughs>